Hello, my name is Georgia Popovic Ida, and I'm a fourth year urban sustainability student at the University of Dayton. Hi, my name is Cecil Carter. I'm a level 300 mechanical engineer from the University of Dayton back in the United States. We had a couple of interviews through the University of Dayton Ethos program. They matched us with Academic City, um, and then we got to meet the team leads of the project here, um, and they gave us a rundown of what we should expect um, coming into this. Why Ghana? Uh, Ghana is just very different culturally than what I'm used to, and so I was very intrigued to learn more about like Africa, but also more specifically about Ghana, as before even coming on this trip, I knew so little about it. An academic city, I feel like the best takeaway from that has just been getting to be at a university, interacting with other students and people my age, and being able to share like that cultural, like, like all the cultural stuff, is talking about things like food or what we do for fun, or cultural events that are going on. And I think that's been like the neatest part about being at Academic City in particular. There was a ton of cultural shocks that we experienced. Um, that's just something that we expected. My impression was that, wow, this is different. Like, it's gonna take a second. But honestly, like after like, you know, that first night, like we were taken right under like one of the lab team's wings and they were super helpful in showing us around, making sure we knew how to, get the food or go, go different places. And so even though it was like very different or very all at once, cause like the food here, I've never seen or even heard of any of this food before. Um, the transportation system is a little bit different. Uh, the roads, how you go shopping, all that's different. But uh, by being under like our friends, like our friends taking us around, that's been like, it's made the experience go a lot smoother and a lot easier. Yeah, so we've been working on the Sustained City 2.0 project. Um, and the general idea of that, the general goal, is to help divert plastic waste and um, turn it into something that we can use again. So we've been building a plastic shredding machine, um, a filament extruder, and a 3D printer to help turn plastic water bottles and other plastic waste into um, products, new products. So coming in, I knew like literally nothing really about 3D printers. And so starting off, it was just a lot of learning about how does, how does the system work? How do we take plastic and turn it into filament? How does this filament get heated up onto the bed of a 3D printer? So this project is doing a holistic approach of how can we get to that final product through using plastic waste. Um, so far we have designed all three of those machines um, and we began to fabricate them as well. Uh, we have a working filament extruder and we are in the process of um, finalizing the shredder. Coming from a sustainability background, um, it was really, really fun to work um, in the workshop uh, and use all the fun tools. I learned how to weld, I learned how to use a bunch of the machines for boring and drilling and it was really fun to just get some hands-on experience in that sector. I feel like the best thing was being in the workshop and actually getting to do a lot more technical stuff that I haven't been able to do before. Like I've never welded before, so that was neat. We're using really big machinery and working with metal. Uh, that's been an interesting process that I haven't really known a lot about. And so it was just really cool working of like from start to finish. I also think it was kind of fun like retesting my um, ability with like software uh, and like SolidWorks or like 3D modeling. That's been interesting. Yeah, so we went to the northern uh, region up to Tamale. We spent like about a week there. Um, and it was super cool to see just the difference between the busy Accra lifestyle and then um, kind of more of like a countryside experience. We got to see elephants and um, go to Mole National Park, which was definitely the highlight of my trip. So uh, the, the team here in the lab has been absolutely wonderful. Honestly, like that's the part of Ghana that I'm gonna miss most is all of the people who've been on this project with me. I've learned so much from each and every one of them, whether it be something as simple as, how do you turn this machine on to something as crazy as like, well, what is your take on the political climate of America right now? <laughs> I don't know, it's just like that holistic approach of getting to hang out with them, but also getting to hang out with them outside the lab too, and really just dive into Ghanaian culture and 
learn as much as I possibly can in th these three months because that's really what we came here for. I'm taking a lot away from this experience, from both being here in the lab and then just being immersed in a culture completely other than my own. Um, being here in the lab, I learned how to operate the 3D printers, the laser cutting machine, so many um, technical skills that I had no idea about before coming. I would rate my Academic City experience a 9 out of 10. Um, I think my personal um, role in the project was a little iffy coming in because I'm a sustainability major. I have a background in the arts and I don't really have much technical experience, but I think that's something I really grew to love and enjoy. Um, I've learned so much. Um, I've made some great friendships along the way and Academic City has been here very supportive along the whole, whole experience. <laughs> I would probably say in a scale of one to 10, a solid nine. It has been a blast being here with the people and I've loved trying the food, going on all these adventures, um, and it's just been fun. I would tell someone, if you have the chance to go abroad, absolutely take it. Um, not only are you going to learn new skills, but you're also going to be able to pick up on a lot of things of just being like culturally conscious and developing networks outside of just your home base. And that is gonna be super beneficial in the future when it comes to things like flexibility or learning about people and just like embracing things that are a little different. I know that from my previous experiences that's helped me grow and this experience for sure. Um, I'll be excited to like take these skills that I've learned and apply them.